Des Frogs today for the NR Festival. Oh yes, baby, we're all, almost at full power. It's, uh, it's Des Frogs at full power? Yeah, I know. Listen, this is a monster that requires one tribute. And when it's tribute summoned, you can special summon Des Frogs from your deck and hand, I believe, as well, up to the number of tadpoles in your grave. Meaning that you're going to end the field after tribute summoning the Des Frog with three level five Des Frogs. Now that's crazy because you know what that means i don't know what it means either it's really funny though this is the incident that happened check it out Ooh, now this is a good hand hopefully i don't need to torrential anything because i just want to go into mommy grizzly uh 16 over this mother grizzly oh i'm gonna end the attack declaration here i'm gonna olenoids pop this thing mommy grizzly dies effect screech is gonna dump um both my tadpoles i'm gonna go battle phase here i'm gonna crash this boss wind Bro, like, okay. Thanks for the free monster, idiot. So we're gonna dump two tadpoles here. Overlay into... Okay, boss isn't the play, right? Good Herald of the Arclight, actually. <laughs> That's gonna give us Mother Grizzly, which gets us Dupe Frog, which gets us Dez Frog. I think it's worth it if we want to get this combo going. Cat Shark. And why would I Cat Shark, Tamer VGC? Explain to me why Cat Shark Pass would be the right play. Why would that? Why would that be a good play in your eyes? I want. I'm curious. I'm. Uh, I'm curious. Is this cute? Okay. Well, I mean, can't argue with that. Uh, Cause someone in chat said, and I just repeat. Okay. If someone in chat said, "I'm a stinky pee pee poo poo," would you just copy paste it? Like, if someone just wrote in the t in the Twitch chat, "I have small pee pee." You would, would. You just control control C control V. Why did you get a cat? Because he has a good effect, or because he's cute as fuck. Tan Tan, he's got a great effect. Uh, once per turn, target one can of tuna, steal it from Farfa. Yeah, that little shit has a really good uh, effect. It's literally change of heart. Do I summon this thing? Nah. Why did he loss win this? Oh my god, level resist wall, that's crazy. This combo is gonna be popping soon. This is very slow, but like, dude, I'm getting there. Listen, turn 10, I'm ready to go. Level four summons what? Double dip frog from deck? And it floats into uh, another water monster for us. The monsters are negated, however. I don't know why this thing negates. No, don't want malevolent send me. I have to torrential this. Stupid card. Oh, there goes my floater. There goes my floater. Really losing on this card advantage, aren't I, champ? Don't worry, guys. We're gonna draw a, another Mother Grizzly here. It's fine. <laughs> you see, the problem with most Yu-Gi-Oh players is that they just don't, like, draw the card they need. Life would be a lot easier and simpler if you just drew exactly what you needed when you needed it. You know? Some people aren't good at that. Okay, so this is the game plan here. He's going to probably attack over the Mother Grizzly. We're gonna summon, like, three monsters out of the deck. It's gonna be crazy. Alien dog. That's not a dog. When you summon an alien, you can special summon this from your hand. Oh my god, it's it's it's, it's an extender. It's a BA. <laughs> it's a BA. <laughs> guys, that's crazy. <gasps> okay, are you guys ready? Watch this. Oh, activate Mother Grizzly. Gain the effect of level resist wall. Uh targeting the Mother Grizzly. Level resist wall, summoning out of the deck here. Double. Dupe frog, baby. And Mother Grizzly floats into... We have one Ronin Totem. Okay, I think we might need two, question mark. All right, we have a sick setup for next turn, boys. Oh, someone's in attack mode? Oh, shit, whoops. All right, baby. Dupe lock. They're negated, to be fair, chat. They are negated. <laughs> Put one of these into attack mode. Uh, gonna crash this one. Oh, baby! Good frog effect time. Add from deck to hand. Des frog. Main phase two. Tribute summon Des frog. Come forth! Triple Des frog from deck! Woo! Yes! Okay, now what, Farfa? Well, shut up, chat. Uh, it's a good deck, okay? I'm just... This is vibing. We right, so got good... good. We just got, 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 uh, got three frogs now. What does Dick Vorzak do? Dick Vorzak control, baby. Dick Vorzak control, baby. <laughs> now what, streamer? Oh, baby. I have so many combos for you. Watch this. One monster. Two monsters. Three monsters. 
<laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> the Gvorzak! Let's go! Normal rare frogs are broken! <laughs> and then next time we do it again! <laughs> oh, are you setting a back row? You pathetic. Fool! Why would you set into my Digvorzak? Yes, broken turn 10. Listen, we have so many cards that allow us to set up and stall that turn 10 is not relevant. Okay? Turn 10. Turn 10 is basically turn 2. Um, if you really think about it, it's pretty much just turn two. Mathematically, you might wonder, how does that work? Well, you know, you know. All right, draw a turn here. Ooh, Pakaya. All right, can we do any more funny plays here? I really, I really want to show people the Soki boss lock, but uh, he's playing Kaiju, so that's probably just not going to be a thing. Unfortunately. All right, banish this thing. Special summon. All right, we got Soki boss here. Uh, I guess we'll just set up Soki Boss anyway. If you pay Torrential, you can get a free Paleo Body. Bro, where's the lie? Where's the lie? This guy's literally not lying, chat. Explain. Yeah, turn face monster on the field with attack less than. Uh, this makes dupe mess timing, I'm pretty sure. Also, I don't want to block my own monster zone. Let's test it out. It'll be funny. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be really funny, chat. Here we go. Watch this. All right, pop this. Oh, it doesn't miss timing! That's pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, the zone is no longer usable, but that's okay. Flip flop frog. Activate Ronin Toden. Do frog not missing timing challenge? It misses timing in like 99% of cases. But not this one! Ambulance meme. Okay, so basically, uh, what this deck does as another win condition is uh, you can spam level twos. And you, uh... Oh, it's not even game. Oops. <laughs> Clueless. You can spam level twos, and then you can just block up their field. Now, why is that good? Well, you know, it's not good, but it's really funny. <laughs> While you control another ghost trick monster, your opponent cannot target this card for attacks. Acts of despair? More like acts of troll despair. He doesn't know. He is unaware. Look, battle phase. Watch this. Battle phase. Hmm. 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 Why? <laughs> NR frogs, baby. This is the list you saw in action, and it's uh, really just about controlling and stalling out as best as you can until you can set up the tadpole with the death frog in hand. So how are you doing that? Well, you all know what dupe frog does. It is a card that misses timing, even if a wind farts in its general direction. But it does add frog cards from your deck to your hand if you can somehow make it not miss timing. That is going to search you your Dez Frog, who is, of course, the bread and butter of the deck. And Screech is a good way to help set up with Mother Grizzly to get you into the Dupe Frog for the searches or the tadpoles, etc. Screech simply reads, send two waters from your deck to the grave when it dies. That's going to send your two tadpoles from your deck to the grave. Now, ideally, you can get into something like a Screech and a level resist wall. Level resist wall, special summons monster up to the uh, level that you uh, had to get destroyed by battle. So when something like Mother Grizzly is destroyed, it's going to be able to summon two level twos from the, from the deck, uh, that being Dupe Frog, uh, which uh, does negate the effect. Unfortunately, you can't just go straight into uh, Dupe Lock, uh, but it's fine because you want your uh, Dupe Frogs out of the deck so you can, like, you know, turn them to attack and crash them or something and search for your. Uh, Dez Frog, or even if just a Dupe Frog is destroyed, uh, then you, that's going to be able to special summon out two tadpoles from the graveyard, uh, from the decks, sorry, so you can set them up in the grave. And then you just have a bunch of, like, paleo support and general control stuff to try and uh, stall out. The extra deck is missing three cards because it's funny. You have an alternate win condition with Soku Boss, which allows you to block up your opponent's uh, zones, which never really comes up, but it's, it's, it's possible. And just uh, the best rank 5s available, like uh, Volcasaurus, and of course, as you saw, Digvorjak. Uh, it's a really, really terrible win condition. Uh, there's basically nothing redeemable or good about this deck. You can't even use Cat Shark to OTK with Shark Fortress. Uh, it's really just about summoning Desfrog, and I guess that's funny. Okay, thanks for watching, everyone. T take care, and until next time, subscribe. Adios.